Greetings, Ventures. It's Lauren Gaming, and I'm running on like five hours of sleep right now because I woke up to watch that live Dynamo event in Japan, and it was completely worth it. We got a lot of cool announcements. It was a super fun event, and I'm excited to talk about it. So let's get started. One of the things they did during the event is hold the Lotterario drawings. Uh, this was handled a lot better than the uh, Crunchyroll one yesterday. No, not to be mean to Crunchyroll, but the way they did it here was a lot better with uh, the presentation and how they drew the numbers. But yeah, uh, if you're playing Japanese version of the game, I'll put the numbers up here. And I'll also put the, the numbers up somewhere else if you played the English version of the game. And we should be getting those prizes between uh, Sunday and Monday, so look forward to that if you won anything. Most of us won at least uh, some three-star tickets. I know I got a six-place prize, three seven-place prizes, and the rest are 10k Valus tickets. So I can't complain about the four-star ticket, but the way the Crunchyroll drawings were handled could have been a lot better. And now for some more exciting news. Early in the year, the Damachi movie was announced. Uh, it's an original movie, and it's being penned by Fujino Omori, the writer of the Damachi universe. And we got a new promotional image and a trailer uh, during live event. I will link the trailer in the description. It's pretty cool. It's called uh, Arrow of the Orion, who I assume Orion is the blue-haired girl in the middle there, probably a goddess. Even though Orion is a male god, um, Series like this, we know Hephaestus is supposed to be a male god, but she's female in Damachi, so the blue hair girl is probably Orion. But this movie is going to come out in 2019. It's being produced by JC Staff, the same staff that worked on Damachi Season 1. So that's going to be exciting to see. I'm kind of a bit, I'm a bit sad that it's not going to be 2018 because we know the movie was announced first and then Season 2, so it's going to be a while before we get some more animated Damachi content. This is probably towards the beginning of 2019, then Season 2 is probably sometime after the movie. I wouldn't be surprised if they like teased a little trailer at the end of the movie when it's airing in Japan. Hopefully we get that in uh, our theaters here on the western side of the world. I know uh, other movies have done that. The No Game No Life movie that the Sentai Filmworks has the rights to uh, premiered a few months after it premiered in Japan. So hopefully we do get this stateside as well. I'm excited for it. And later on they showed a teaser trailer for the next event that will be happening. Right now we're in the Grand Day Eve event. And the next event that happens after that is this, Grand Day. And right now you can see that during the trailer they show that Orario is currently in shambles. They got these black twisters going all over Orario. And in this image right here, you can see Belle and Lafia facing off what seems to be a big black dragon. Now the thing with the black dragon is, uh, years before the, uh, the start of where Volume 1 happens, or the start of the anime happens, Ice's father took part with a group of adventurers on something called the Grand Quest to defeat a black dragon. Now, Ice's father died during the fight with the dragon, but injured its eye, and uh, that made the black dragon run away to knows where. So, it's we're unsure if this is like actually canon to the light novel and anime universe itself, but it should be a fun event. We're not even sure if this is the same black dragon, but this event is being written by the author of the Damachi franchise, Ujino Omori, so it'll be exciting when we see more about this. And they also showed a short in-game clip of the boss fight against the Black Dragon. In this, you can see the new Bell using a special arts. And it looks like a big blue Kamehameha, but it's obviously a big blue uh, Firebolt. But, so that should be a new Bell that we're getting during the event. That's the only new units we know of for this event so far. There'll be more news later to come, of course, because the event will not start until June 19th. And the second date on here, besides the June 19th start of the event, is June 29th. Uh, what seems to be happening at that point is a raid. If you're not familiar with how a raid works in the gacha game or mobile games in general, there's usually a big boss with a big health pool and it's shared across for all players that are playing the game. So everyone is going to be fighting the same boss with the same health pool. Uh, we're not sure if that's exactly how it's going to work, of course, but that's normally how raids work. So I'm excited to see what's to come in the future. There'll be more announcements to come, of course. So look forward to that. And this next announcement right here, I did not see coming at all, took me completely by surprise because I was just expecting like anniversary event info and then this pops out and I'm like, oh my god, best girl! And you guys are probably wondering, what the hell are you talking about, Lauren Gaming? I'm talking about this. Episode Ryu is going to be part of the story episodes along with Belle, Eyes, and Lafia. Episode Ryu is going to be quest based on the Episode Ryu light novel. This is the imported copy. The actual translated light novel will actually come out later this month. This is actually pretty good timing. That comes out on June 26th. So I'm going to be looking forward to reading that when I get it. 
but holy crap, Episode Ryu is getting story content added on the same day the main event starts, June 19th. It's crazy. We got a little preview of some of the CGs that are going to be used here. You can see Seer and Ryu. This is a little bit of Ryu's backstory being saved by Seer, being found by her. And then here's another CG tease of the stuff in Episode Ryu. I'm not going to exactly say what this is right now because that would be kind of a spoiler, so I'm going to refrain from talking. But that is Ryu and Seer right there. And by the way, uh, previously in Bell uh, Eyes and Lafia's episodes, they use uh, screenshots from the anime itself. Episode Ryu does not have an anime, so what they're probably doing is having JC staff draw all these original uh, CG scenes, all these screenshots, all this artwork to be completely brand new, haven't seen them before. It's going to be fantastic. I'm so excited about this. And we're going to get two new units, it looks like. We need a, a new banner for the new Ryu and the new Seer. Now with the Ryu, I'm kind of curious how they're going to uh, do the rewards for the story itself because in the Bell story, when you start out, they gave you a a rank 1 bell for completing the first part of the story, and then for Eyes and Lafia's story, they give you rank 3 Eyes and Lafia for beating that first part of the story. So I'm wondering if during this event, or not event, this story mission, they're going to give you a Ryu. Like the, the first Ryu, the, the lowest rarity one, is a 3 star Ryu assist, and that doesn't make much sense because Ryu's going to be a main character here. So something that would be really cool for the anniversary is if they actually handed away this new Ryu which is probably going to be a four star as as part of the uh, the quest. It'll be super awesome, but I don't know. But I just know that this new Ryu means I'm probably going to be spending a lot of money because she's my favorite character. But yeah, a new steer, of course. You can see uh, there's going to be a little casino theme. I'm not going to mention why, but yes. And also, when episode Ryu launches on June 19th, there should be a new theme song sung by Ryu's voice actress. Jaime Saori. She's actually one of my favorite voice actresses, so it's going to be really awesome to hear a song sung by her for this. Uh, I'm never going to change the, the main title screen again after this. Like, if there's going to be another theme song after this one, I'm going to go back to the selection of the options and go put permanently Episode Reuse theme on forever in Damamo. I don't care how many more main themes we get, this is the one I'm going to be used for the remainder of my time playing Damamo. Episode Ryu theme. Done. But yes, guys, you can tell I'm I'm super excited for this. I, w I didn't see this coming, and this makes me so happy. I love Ryu. This is awesome. Oh. And lastly, they announced uh, plans for two new features that are going to be added to the game over the course of the year. Uh, during the summer, there's going to be some kind of casino function. I'm not sure exactly what that is. Like, maybe some kind of casino mini games in the game. Not exactly sure. We'll probably get more information as we get closer to the release of the casino function. And then later in the fall... There's going to be a Familia function added to the game, which is basically like a guild. So it looks like we will be able to join up uh, with guilds. I'll probably make my own uh, for the channel, of course. And we'll see what happens there. Maybe it's going to be like some cool guild functions like uh, warring guilds or leaderboards for guilds and doing certain quests and stuff. But we'll see more as the time goes along. It's nice to see uh, a little layout of future stuff that's going to be planned for the game. But yeah, guys, I really enjoyed watching the live stream event. All the voice actors were awesome. Uh, Bell's voice actor, especially matsuka -san, it's always funny to see. If you want to check out the whole entire event in case you missed it, I'll put links in the description for the live event, another link for the main event and episode Ryu tease, and also the trailer for the new Don Machi movie. And I just wanted to give some quick credit to uh, Alba from the unofficial Damamo Discord, which I'll also link in the description below, uh, providing these translations for the all the new news that's coming out. Uh, your work really helps out the Domino community when it comes to getting excited for new stuff that's happening uh, in the game. Thank you so much for your great work. But anyway guys, as June 19th gets closer, there's going to be more announcements uh, regarding the new event itself and the new characters besides Bell and Episode Ryu, of course. So look forward to that uh, in the future. I'm just, I'm just so excited. Yes, yes. Episode Ryu's story is coming out in the story episode function in the game and her translated light novels coming out later this month. It's so excited. It's so great to be a Don Machi fan this month. Like, holy crap. The first anniversary event, uh, main series, light novel volume 11, Sword Oratoria volume 6, and episode Ryu are all coming out in June, as well as the Sword Oratoria uh, collector's edition Blu-ray. So this is pretty much the month of Don Machi. I'm super excited for the rest of this month. It's going to be great. But anyway, guys, Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it informative, go ahead and give me a like. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. Follow me on Twitter for more updates. 
Join my Discord if you want to talk about the game or about Damachi in general. But as always, guys, continue adventuring in Mario and the dungeon. This is Lauren Gaming, and I'm signing out.